Hey, how's it going? This is Justin Gilman with Quantum Leads, and today I'll be walking through your digital marketing attack plan to show you how you can turn your website into a lead generation machine and really generate some more revenue for your business month over month. Now to do that, we first have to understand how are people finding pressure washing businesses in your area? And if you're like me and many others, chances are you go on Google, go to the upper search bar, type in whatever service or industry you're looking for, along with your city name, and after doing that, you're going to submit your search and you'll scroll down and pick from the first few results down below or up here in the Google Map Pack. Now, it doesn't really matter which one you choose from, but it seems to be a pretty popular option to use Google to find services as there's about 8,000 searches every single month for pressure washing companies in that Milwaukee area. Now, the goal of this video is going to be to put your business at the forefront of those searches so we can guarantee that 8,000 people every single month see your business first before looking at another pressure washing company. However, in order to do that, there's a few different things that we're going to need to understand first. So first off, let's go to your competitor's site and we're gonna talk about content um, because content is really king on Google. So we'll take a look at your competitor's site and then we'll go back to your site and compare and contrast what you guys are doing as far as content goes. So now here we are looking at MKE property detailing and pressure washing and they are the number one organically ranking company. And you'll see that they have tons of content on their page. Um, and that's done on purpose. The reason that's done is because content gives users something to engage with. And the more content you have, the more positive of a user experience you're promoting, according to Google. And that's exactly what they're looking for when they are looking to promote a website to the first page, is that you promote that positive user experience. So definitely something to think about. But if we examine their content even further, you start to see that they have tons of industry-specific keywords and phrases, keywords being the most used words or phrases on a web page. And based on these keywords, we're going to tell Google vital information about our business, such as what we do, maybe where we operate from, and ultimately who we are as a company. So very important that we have a very contentful site, number one. But number two, that we also have a very, you know, industry-specific keywords to go with that content. So definitely something to think about. Let's go back to your website and see how you kind of stack up against the competition on your website and if we scroll down here i noticed that you have some content but really not much content and we're going to want to expand on this so i normally recommend about 750 to a thousand words on any given page um, obviously your competitor has a lot more than that so feel free to go above and beyond that if you'd like however 750 to a thousand words is the bare minimum of what i found to be a very contentful site in the eyes of google now, once again, we still want our industry specific keywords as well. So we're gonna want things like pressure washing Milwaukee um, or all these other different keywords, you know, that really tell Google all the information we want about our business. So definitely something to think about. And if you're looking to target another area, cause I know you were in Sheboygan, um, Wisconsin. So definitely something to think about. You can always target there. I just felt Milwaukee was a much bigger city with a lot more traffic, but now that's only going to be the internal side of things. We also have our external side of things which is going to be our backlinks and our citations. Now, those are gonna really help us climb the rankings because our internal side helps set the foundation. So let's go back to your competitor's site and take a look at their backlink structure and then we'll compare that to yours. We're looking at your competitor's site and you'll see that they only have 33 backlinks built to their site and it's really hurting them because ultimately they're only generating 123 organic users per month and it could be much, much more. Um, but like I said, they only have 33 backlinks despite having so much content and keywords. So we need both to really create the strongest structure possible. And for you to get more um, organic traffic, you're going to need to go above and beyond them. So if they have 33 backlinks, I would recommend getting upwards of 100, maybe even 300 to really push the margin on top of our content and keywords. So now let's go over to your website and see what you're doing as far as your backlink structure goes. So here we are looking at your website and currently you don't have any backlinks built to your site and you're not generating any traffic. And now this is a big problem for us because the way we have to look at our website is that our website is a 24 seven salesperson that works for us day and night. It makes sales at four in the morning. It makes sales at 10 at night. And so we need to give it the resources it needs to be able to close those deals. And those resources are the backlinks, the content, the keywords, all those are different resources we need to give our website to really close sales. But there is one more resource that I haven't mentioned yet, and that is citations. So let's go over the Google Map Pack and talk about citations and how they tie into everything here. So here we are on Google, and this is the Google Map Pack. And the Google Map Pack looks for a variety of different factors when it ranks its companies. Number one, you know, being citations. So citations are all the different places your business's name, address, and phone number are going to be listed online. Some popular citations are things like Facebook, Yelp, Instagram, Yellow Pages, Yellow Books. All those are different citations you can get for your business, and they all help with the Google Map Pack. 
Now, I personally went through each one of these companies and took a look at their citations. Number one had 52 citations. Number two had 38. And lastly, number three only had 27. So if number one is 52, remember the goal of this video is always to go bigger and better than our competition. So we're going to need 104 citations on top of our backlinks, on top of our content and keywords. And if we do all of that, we should start to see a very favorable movement in the amount of traffic our business is generating month over month. But more importantly, the amount of revenue that our website is bringing back to us month over month. Now, that's all I have for you in this video, but I will leave you with one question. And that question is, what can an extra 8,000 customers a month do for your business? Once again, my name is Justin Gilman with Quantum Leads. I hope this video was very educational and thank you for watching.